Welcome back to another episode of Red's Franchise here on MLB The Show 23. I was actually watching the first episode back, and in that video, I didn't really anticipate on playing a game. It was really more to get to know the team, get to know our prospects, and the competition within the NL Central. Yet, I was looking back on the video, and I saw that my face cam was blocking the scoreboard. Now, nobody mentioned this in the comments, but I talked about it on Twitch, and you guys were pretty much in agreement. Say, hey... We don't want to see the scoreboard. You can leave the face cam where it is. So we're just going to leave it here uh, since nobody on YouTube made any note of it. And uh, we'll just get on with the series. We are one and one. You guys saw opening day. And my plan for this series is probably play, you know, a game or two every couple of weeks. Kind of, you know, play some of the moments at times as well. With baseball, it's a little bit different than it is with my Madden series on NFL, right? Because 16 games and now 17 games more recently, plus the playoffs, that's pretty good for, you know, an episode uh, every other day or so, and then a decent amount of episodes per season. I can't do 162 episodes for one season. The series would take forever. So we kind of got to space it out a little bit differently if we're going to have any type of longevity whatsoever. And obviously... I am joking about the face cam thing. I will be moving it um, for the games. I didn't really think about uh, playing it, uh, playing a game in the first episode. And yeah, I saw it about 50 or 60 times in the comments. Believe me, it was enough. I got, I got the hint. But I think in this episode, we're going to go ahead and start with scouting. Now, I looked at my scouts here. And I tried to get the best ones that I could within the scouting budget. As you can see in the top right, I only have 600 remaining. So these are my scouts. Cecil Moran, Christopher Horton, and Jose Reigns. I talked to the Antortiz. Check them out on YouTube. Does an MLB The Show uh, rebuild series like I do on Madden. And is also doing a franchise series, I believe, on a yet-to-be-determined team as I record this. But we'll see if he... Uh, ends up getting a video out in the near future on that. So if you're interested in this type of a series, check him out as well. Uh, and scouting is very interesting this year. I've assigned some scouts to do different things here. Some of these, I, you know, I'll let you know um, what's going on in different updates. But for the most part, I think a lot of this is going to be done off camera and just some updates every now and again. It's pretty tedious in my opinion. I don't really like it. I know it might be an upgrade. But from what I've talked to Antonio about, it seems like it's a lot of guesswork. To me, it kind of feels like the scouting system on Madden 22, where it's you're taking a shot in the dark for a lot of these. And I get it. It's baseball. A lot more unknowns uh, compared to football more recently. But it seems a little bit random for the most part if you even find a good player, um, let alone get a good idea of what they're actually doing. Like Sometimes it's going to be more obvious than others. And hopefully we figure that out. But it's a little bit... It's a little bit weird in my opinion. But uh, we're going to go ahead here and... I think do our away opener. If you want to call it that. Our first road game. Going to be against Philadelphia. Obviously not an opener. But I think it's going to be a good start for Nick Lodolo. So we're going to go ahead and simulate through that date. And if there is a moment or anything, we'll jump in and probably play that. Luke Weaver with an injury. Drained oblique. I... That pretty much is not going to do anything for us. We're just going to go ahead and keep him active as we only win one game out of our last three. And uh, we'll go on to play Philadelphia. Nick Lodolo on the hill. We're going to go ahead and play them and uh, see what Nick Lodolo can do. He is a budding future superstar for us, hopefully on the mound. He does have a win on this season, 1-0, despite a 5.4 ERA earn run average for you uh, who are newer to baseball, which believe it or not, I know that seems obvious if you're a big baseball fan, obviously it's earned run average. Um, but for those of you who are new to baseball, which there are a lot of you coming over from Madden and whatnot, that's what that means. Basically, the lower number, the better for a pitcher. And uh, Ashcraft has also struggled a bit. Lodolo, very lucky to get that win. This is going to be the lineup we're going with. Maybe we'll take Will Myers out of the lineup because he's a little bit tired, but he can get a rest day tomorrow. We're going to go with that lineup. You can see our averages up to this point. Really, it's just Jonathan India carrying us at the top. All of the rest have been very disappointing. A lot of guys under that Mendoza line at 200. And uh, I don't think there's anybody 
except for Jonathan India actually hitting over like 230. So not exactly fantastic. We know we're going to see some struggles with this Reds team. I totally get it. I understand it. It's a rebuild series for a reason. This is not a team that's close to competing here in MLB The Show Land. You never know what can happen. Obviously, some things will change. And, you know, we could see some guys hit way better than their attributes. And we're going to see guys pitch above and below their attributes as well. Uh, hopefully, we uh, perform above expectations. And I will be making a settings change to make it a little bit tougher on me. If you actually watch my online gameplay i've posted a lot of br in this channel already i'm pretty good at the game so it makes it a little bit unfair and the players don't exactly play true stats so what we're gonna do for the series is play uh, on timing and try to have the attributes carry the players rather than me as a player i'll also be live on twitch right as and after you're watching this twitch.tv slash bangle link is in the description and enjoy the video this camera is uh, a little bit different than what I'm used to with Strike Zone. Jonathan India out in front of a sinker away, getting ground out to the shortstop for the first out. But this is a guy we need to see start to hit a little bit better. Obviously, we talked about Jonathan India at the start. Tyler Stevenson is supposed to be a very good hitter for us and has not been up to this point. It's very early in the season. I totally understand it. I get it. He's not going to be dominant out of the gate. And even if he is, it's not much to be excited or concerned about whether if he was good or bad, right? It's really, really early into the season. We're going to wait for things to stabilize before, you know, making any type of judgments or big opinions. Not really going to be making any trades yet either. Not to say that those won't happen in this series because they definitely will. We're just trying to get the vibe of this Reds team before we make any wholesale changes, I would say. That's a pitch to hit for Tyler Stevenson. Instead of drawing a walk, he'll drive that the other way past like Josh Harrison at second base for a single. We got a base runner on here with one down in the top of the first for legendary red to this point, Joey Votto. Had a triple in the player lock opening day uh, game, but has not had a ton of success beyond that, only hitting 214. On base is probably significantly better. Don't see it on the screen though. Take strike two. That's a ground ball double play pitch. And strike three. Circle change kind of hanging down the middle there. Joey Votto got to be out in front of that. He had just early on the swing timing. And uh, normally a pitch I would crush, obviously, if I were playing. But here with just timing-based hitting and obviously a lot on the attributes, Joey Votto doesn't have the highest rate of contact against lefties. And that leads to a strikeout. Will Myers. Big signing in the offseason for the Reds, by their standards at least. Only hitting 150 in the cleanup spot. And uh, is pretty fatigued coming into this game. We saw his energy levels. I believe that would have been visible. But he got a pitch to hit here. Cutter up in the zone. This one headed for the seats and it gets out. Will Myers. Ask and he delivers. Two run home run. His first homer of the season. Left the bat at 100 miles per hour, and we are loving it from the bench. Two-run home run gets us on top early, and that's what we need to do. Will Myers crushes lefties. We got to take advantage of those matchups. When we get pitches to hit, that's a cutter up in the zone, middle of the plate. Myers kind of gets the bottom part of that barrel to it and drives it out to left center. Just snuck over the wall, but it's a home run nevertheless. And we are up early. We just need Nick Lodolo to do big things here. As uh, Jake Fraley does not hit lefties well. Another guy in our lineup that's kind of searching for it here early in this season. But he might have found it. Circle change driven right back up the middle. Third hit of the inning. And that's kind of setting the table a little bit. For Spencer Steer. Decent numbers against lefties. Another guy struggling in this young season. But there's a lot of time left. As I said, I'm not going to be overreacting. We know what this Reds team is. It's kind of devoid of superstars at the moment. We're trying to develop those guys really in the form of pitchers. You kind of talk about the big three that the Reds have with Hunter Green, Nick Lodolo, and developing Graham Ashcraft as well. All those guys need to take big strides if we're going to be successful over the course of this series. The hitters, though, I mean, who do we actually have? Joey Votto is 
close to 40 years old. Will Myers probably isn't it. Delivered big here, hoping for big things from him. But we got to set our expectations back and to really, you know, recognize what this Reds team is. And it's just obviously not there yet. And here is Lodolo against a very good Phillies lineup. Turner chases the first pitch. He's actually not had a great start to the season. Big free agent signing for the Phillies, only hitting 185 in 27 plate appearances to this point. Swinging there at the second pitch. Ground ball to India. He makes a nice play over to Votto for out number one. That's what I want to do with Lodolo. Work quickly, force weak contact. He doesn't have to be a big strikeout guy for us, although it'd be nice if he was, as Josh Harrison's I had a decent start to this season. But force weak contact, get ground ball outs, and uh, just eat innings for us. I can't really rely on the bullpen outside of Alexis Diaz. Now, I will say Harrison's somebody who I think does hit lefties significantly better than he does righties. So we got to be a little bit careful with him. And it seems crazy to say we have to be careful with Josh Harrison. I don't know what year it is that that's going to be an issue for us. But we got to be at least a little bit careful. Don't want to leave anything over the middle. As he's going to take ball three, run the count full with Bryce Harper on deck. We do have the platoon advantage lefty-lefty. But Harper's obviously very, very good. And with the walk of Josh Harrison on a close pitch, too. We put a potential RBI on the table for him. Although he's very early on the sinker for strike one. Working quickly to strike two. Harper can't hit the slurve. Go back inside, try to force that double play. Didn't quite get the ball down. Harper pulls it foul. Good change up. Harper swings right through it. For the first strikeout of the game for Nick Lodolo. And we got to be able to go through Schwarber, uh, Schwarber as well. Big power. Don't want to make a mistake to Kyle Schwarber, obviously. But again, we have the advantage lefty-lefty. A lot of lefties in this lineup uh, for the Phillies. Obviously, Harper, Schwarber. I don't see him today, but oftentimes Bryson Stott's going to be in there. The quickly 3-0 to Kyle Schwarber. And it's a four-pitch walk. Not what we want. 0-2 to Real Muto. Try a fastball. Big cut from Real Muto. Fouled away. Very early on that. Let's go to the changeup as a result. Just fighting. We got to get that pitch count down. 21 in the first inning. See if we can get another strikeout. Still fighting. Good pitch. Freezes Real Muto after a battle. Lodolo ends, uh, ends the first inning. Close to 25 pitches. But no runs allowed, no hits, although a couple of walks. Uh, we've got to settle down a little bit, but all in all, not too bad of a first inning. As we'll get to a dangerous part of our order, starting with Jason Vosler. Jason, yeah, geez. Jason. It's only dangerous for my health. Because these guys are not threats to do much of anything. Vosler puts a good swing on it, to be honest, deep to right field. But Harper makes the play fairly easily as Kevin Newman will get a chance. Uh, excited for this. Kevin Newman, that, that looks about right. You know, that's actually probably the uh, farthest he's hit a ball this season. So good on him. Not a whole ton of power to Kevin Newman's game. And he's not that great of a defender. And you're probably asking, and he's hitting 190, what does he do well? It's a good question. Uh, it's just when the alternative is Jose Barrero, this is who we got. And I, I saw some comments that said, you got to boost Jose Barrero. He's lower than a bunch of minor league guys, every minor league guy, I, th I think, at the position. Uh, but he's actually starting on the on the Reds. You got to boost his overall. Boost his, his numbers. Why would I? He's come up four different times in four seasons and has not even shown that he's close to an MLB hitter. I can't really give him any type of a boost. I know his overall... Should be higher if he's playing at the major league level compared to these minor leaguers. But he he doesn't deserve a boost at this point. I, he just doesn't. That's going to be a ground ball out. Sinker down the middle. Good timing, but Fairchild just right at the shortstop Turner. And Lodolo will retake the hill. More power here with Reese Hoskins. Got to be careful. They do have some power hitting lefties, obviously, with Harper and Schwerber. 
But uh, they got some guys that can really crush lefties as well. Trey Turner, JT Realmuto, Reese Hoskins. It's a tough lineup to pitch to. It really, really is. Ooh! Nasty swing from Reese Hoskins on a slurve that almost hit him. What in the world was that? Just disgusting stuff from Lodolo. It's a big time power hitter out. Fairly easily. All you had to do, get through Garrett Stubbs and the inning is over. Little bit of a hanger there. Don't really want to make that mistake again. Although it is Garrett Stubbs. Probably not going to do a whole lot. Quickly down 0-2. We've really been pounding the zone here early. I know a, a couple of walks. And that should be strike three. The dangerous take from Garrett Stubbs. Umpire gave him a break. And that ball's hit right back up the middle. As if it needs to be said, the no-hitter is over. Now it's his second inning. The third baseman. And Sosa pops up. Fraley going to work over. Easy fly out for Jake Fraley. That's the end of the second. Lodolo still has yet to allow a run. I know he's only got six outs. Top of our order coming up. Need Jonathan India to uh, set the table for the big power hitters. Just trying to get somebody on base in front of Will Myers. That's pretty much it. I know Will Myers isn't spectacular, but he has good numbers against lefties. Just get somebody on, and I think we have a pretty good chance to get them in with Will Myers at the plate. A chase there a bit with India. That is out number one. And that ball is crushed! Tyler Stevenson turns on an inside sinker way out to left field. That is a solo shot over 400 feet down the line and left. Got an inside sinker, did not miss it. That's a pitch designed to be hammered into the dirt. Stevenson elevates and celebrates. A monster home run to left, absolutely hammered. Line drive, laser beam home run, our second of the game. This is not really a team that's hit many home runs up to this point. But that is a no-doubter for sure. I'll tell you, I keep having good timing with Joey Votto. Not on that pitch. But, um... Oh, he just misses it, lefty-lefty, because his numbers are so bad. It's uh, very frustrating. It's another chase for me. The first pitch, I promise, was a sinker right down the middle that we had good timing on. Maybe not right down the middle. But this changeup, giving me some trouble. Not really seeing it too well out of the hand, lefty-lefty. And uh, the count runs even 2-2. Two and two. Now full to 3-2. and two. See the payoff pitch here in a moment with Willie Myers coming up. We need him to do something. Batting average was up to 190. And that is an easy take for Joey Votto. Curveball at his helmet to bring up Will Myers. Saw his first home run of the season. We are looking for number two. Make a mistake, Suarez. Hopefully we get all over it with Will Myers. Ball one. Three and one now to Will Myers. Joey Votto taking the lead off first base. Only one out in the inning. And we are going to foul that off. Just out in front of the sinker. Same pitch Tyler Stevenson just took deep. Suarez getting a little bit dangerous here. Another full count. This one closer to the strike zone. Will Myers hits it deep to left center. Deja vu for Suarez. Second home run of the game for Will Myers. Ranger Suarez makes another mistake. And I'm not sure how much of him we're going to see for the rest of this game. Will Myers comes into the ball game. Zero home runs on the season. Will leave with at least two. Second home run in just three innings. Two for two for two home runs. Exactly the way we wanted to start this game with Will Myers. He makes lefties pay. Good numbers against lefties, and he's showing us why. And that was a tough pitch to miss. Cutter literally right down the middle. And it is 5-0 Reds. Pouring it on here early. It is just at the top of the third. Suarez certainly struggling. Ground ball past the diving third baseman, Edmundo Sosa. And Jake Fraley with his second hit of the game. It is a hit parade here in Philadelphia. I thought that Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati was a hitter-friendly park. We are destroying Citizens Bank here in Philadelphia 
And we need Spencer Steer to get on board the hit parade. Come on, Steer, find one. Now, I will say that Spencer Steer has had a great start to his season in real life. Would love to see that here in the game. Suarez ERA has already ballooned to close to 20. Obviously trying to work that down. He's allowed more home runs than he has strikeouts up to this point. But I hope we don't strike out a ton. Steer! Crushed down the third baseline. That is a laser beam line drive. Left fielder going to play that off the wall. And we're going to have second and third now. Still only one out in the inning. And if you're Philadelphia, I'm not sure how long you can keep Ranger Suarez on the mound. That is another extra base hit for the Cincinnati Reds team that had struggled mightily coming into this game. Just Jonathan India had a batting average above 230, and that could change. And they are going to yank him. They're going to go to another lefty, which is a suspect call after how Ranger Suarez has performed up to this point. It's going to be Matt Strom has pitched for a number of different teams in the league up to this point. Boston, San Diego, and uh, hopefully we end up crushing him. Bosler is another one of those guys that has not had a hit yet in this game. Hopefully that changes quickly. Although Strom, different type of a pitcher. I don't think he has a sinker to his game. Really more four seam. Uh, and we'll see if we can kind of carry that vertical pitch break instead of horizontal. Although, as you probably know, the four seam uh, generally, typically doesn't move so much compared to the sinker. But there is uh, some vertical action. You know, the riser is like one of the biggest myths in baseball. There's no pitch that rises unless you're a submarine uh, delivery. Uh, Vosler does his job enough. That gets a run in. 6 nothing. Gets a runner over to third base in the process as well. Although it didn't get out of the infield. Kevin Newman. Runner on third. Base hit will score him. Two outs in the inning, so nothing else will do. A walk would be cool, but that's a ground ball to third. Sosa throws on to first. And finally, Philadelphia out of the inning. But the damage was done. Started with a bomb from Tyler Stevenson. We later see Will Myers go yard again. An extra base hit from Spencer Steer would lead to another run. Six hits, excuse me, six runs on seven hits. A great overall start. And Nick Lodolo looking for win number two. As run support yet again. You know, it's weird. With how little we've hit so far in this season, you'd think with a 5.4 ERA for uh, for Lodolo in his first start, he probably wouldn't have a win. But he got lucky. And it looks like not only is he getting lucky with run support this game, he's actually pitching pretty well. Brown ball at Newman. Harrison doesn't run so well anymore, so that's an easy out. Two away. And we can afford to be a little bit careful with Bryce Harper. It is lefty-lefty, though. And he's only hitting 158 on the season. But if you aren't a baseball fan, that uh, that on-base plus slugging number is a little bit more important. That 273 plus 316. Although it's not too high of a number. Um, but OPS, if you're at around 700 league average or so, 800, you get to be real good. 900, you're talking about some of the top hitters in the league, and then near a 1,000 is an MVP. And it's, it's rare to do that, but you do see some players around a 1,000 or above. You know, OPS, on-base plus slugging, pretty important number. Harper, not really cutting it so far this year. But again, it's early. I continue to say that because it continues to be true. This is a big hit from Fairchild. That's going deep to left. This one going to sneak out of here. Stuart Fairchild out of nowhere. Another solo shot in this game for the Reds. And we, again, are pouring it on. We might see a position player pitching before long. Another home run for a team that just has not been able to hit them so far. But everyone getting involved. You look at this lineup, how many guys don't have an extra base hit to this point? Jonathan Indy is one of them. I think Jason Vosler doesn't have one. But basically, everyone's getting involved. India trying to join, but underneath it, not to fly out to left. Because inevitably, people will ask, it's Hall of Fame difficulty for both pitching and hitting. Maybe that changes, but I don't, I don't really think it's been too easy. We've just, you know, timed up some pitches. The only thing that I, I think would change, because we are going based off timing hitting and not zone, is the pitches would just be faster, which I don't think they're too slow right now. 
I'm still uh, out in front of a lot. If anything, it might even make it easier for me. All right, I don't think they're too fast is what I meant to say. And this ball also crushed. Deep to left center, fastball down the middle. Stevenson, once again, does not miss it. This pitch a little bit easier to hit than that sinker down and in. But he didn't hit it out quite as hard. Still goes 369, 96 off the bat. And we have two players with multi-home run games. Will Myers is going to be up soon as well. But it's, a, it's such a big mistake to go to another lefty after we crushed lefties. Ranger Suarez had a tough game. Matt Strom facing the same fate. Someone who's not doing well against the lefties, that's Joey Votto. He has not been able to find it. Does have a walk in this game. I'd love another walk. Only three for 15 for Joey Votto. Does have a triple though, as we mentioned. Very nice for him. Votto, I would have been comfortable just not swinging at anything. Thought we got a mistake. Circle change kind of leaked back in instead of staying over the plate. Lefty, lefty, that makes sense, obviously. Uh, couldn't drive the circle change too far. Another ground out for Joey Votto. That brings up the very dangerous Will Myers. Pitch to hit. It is a slider literally right down the middle. Unfortunately, late on it. That is home run number three staring at us in the face. But could not get on it cleanly. Oh, fastball up to Will Myers. Does he have a chance? No. Just out of play. Garrett Stubbs nearly saving what could end up being disaster. Looking for home, no home run number three for Will Myers. And take ball one. Count now even at two and two. Make another mistake. And that was it. Fastball, middle of the plate, little bit down. Myers... Stays down, hits it on the ground right at the shortstop. We got a pitch right down the middle. First pitch of the AB. That was the pitch to go deep again. Couldn't do it. Ooh, strike three. Sinker down. Schwarber swinging right over the top. Fourth K for Lodolo in this game. Although, I'm going to be honest. Against the lefties in this lineup, you have to be able to do that. There is a lot of swing and miss to their game. I'm not going to say, especially for a hitter like Harper... That it's, you know, home run or bust like it is for Schwarber a lot of the time. But uh, those should be guys we should be able to get out lefty-lefty. The tougher matchups in this order, it's going to be JT Raumuto. It's going to be Reese Hoskins. It's, of course, going to be Trey Turner hitting leadoff. Those are the guys where, all right, we can be a little bit careful with how we approach them. And then don't really want to give up any solo shots, but we also are up 8 nothing. Don't really want to put guys on either. Here's Kevin Newman. Might be a tough play for him. Joey Votto cannot scoop it. Might end up being an error. Yeah, they're going to call it an E6. Mistimed it with Kevin Newman. Not the best throw. Ooh, good take from Reese Hoskins. That's a four-seamer right there, and now I don't really know what to go with. Let's try a double play ball. This also struck out Kyle Schwarber. Ball hit on the ground. Hoskins doesn't run too well. Schwarber... Yep. And it beat it out at second. Or excuse me, that's not Schwerber. That's Real Muto at second base. They are safe everywhere. Thought for sure we had a double play. Ball just not quite hit hard enough. This could be a big mistake. Once again, pitch to the double play. Sinker taken for strike three. Dalton Guthrie, I don't know what you're looking for. Got to put a swing on that. Second out of the inning. Lodolo's done so well in this game to pitch out of jams. The runner's left on base number is quite high for the Phillies already. Really just been walks. A couple of hits in there sprinkled as well. An error, obviously let Real Muto reach. Three and one. We, we're not going to walk bases loaded to get to Edmundo Sosa. Don't want to give in and make a bad pitch though. It's going to be a big one. Payoff pitch. Three balls, two strikes, two outs in the inning. Runners on first and second. They will go, and that is strike three looking. Garrett Stubbs frozen, can't believe the call. He's given Blue an earful, but does not matter. Lodolo, only one hit thus far. He is throwing a beautiful game. And they're going to keep Strom out there. His whip is sub one on the year. It's walks and hits per innings pitched. But Jake Fraley gets a hold of one. Deep to right field. 
it is out of here. Off the scoreboard and right. 408 off the bat. 104 exit velocity. It is home run central here in Philly. Jake Fraley, lefty, lefty crime. No doubt about that one. He admired it for a minute. And again, it is a hit parade. It is a home run parade. How many home runs is it? Fraley has a three-hit game, by the way. But that's home runs now. Tyler Stevenson has two. Will Myers has two. Jake Fraley now is a home run, and they're going to go to another lefty. Stuart Fairchild has gone deep. Spencer Steer, I think, doubled. And this one might be the same. Deep to left field. Left fielder will find it for out number one. Got a little bit out ahead of ourselves there. Vosler still looking for his first hit. See if we can find it. Ripped right past Josh Harrison into the outfield. Not quite enough speed, but Vosler does join in with his first hit of the game. We gotta love that. It is 9-0. Is there a mercy rule in real baseball? Should be. We are headed for it. Kevin Newman also searching for that first hit. We'll find it on that. And that one actually could bleed. That one's gonna get down. And that's that's Kevin Newman's game right there. Awful hit, awful swing, finds the grass. Big base knock, and now we have runners on first and second for Stuart Fairchild. Probably we'll see Jonathan India in this inning as well as we take a very good pitch to hit. India still looking for it as well. He came into the game clearly as our best hitter. I'm not sure if he will exit that way. And that is another base hit. Station to station here for the Reds. Not going to run with just one out. 9 nothing. And now it's bases loaded. One out for the top of the order. And that starts with Jonathan India. 0 for 3. But one of our best hitters. And that is not one of his best swings. That ball is ripped right back up the middle. Jonathan India joining in. We're headed for third. Here's the throw. Not in time. It is a big RBI single for Jonathan India. That scores two. And everyone's getting involved. I think with the exception of Joey Votto. Still searching for his first hit. But this is not who you want to see right now for the Phillies. Down already by 11. Tyler Stevenson ground ball to first. Hoskins to Turner. Back to Hoskins. Double play ends the inning. Soto catches a break. He's trying to just uh, continue that forever. Would have been nice to get past Hoskins as well. He makes a nice turn for the double play on it. We have 14 hits. We are all over Philadelphia. And now the question is, how long do we throw Lodolo for? 71 pitches. It's in a decent spot. Probably don't want to throw him uh, too many times more through the order. I think facing... Harper and Turner and Rail Muto again. Could be tough as that ball is kept in the infield by Newman. It's going to end up being a base hit. And we are up by 11. Luke Weaver is definitely going to come up. Not going to see Alexis Diaz in this game. But Luke Weaver might carry us across the finish line. But I'd like to see a little bit more from Lodolo here. At least enough to pick up that win. 0-2 to Turner. Beautiful pitch. Breaking ball down and in. Turner swings right through it. That's seven Ks for Lodolo. As I've mentioned, we've walked quite a few. Not like an overwhelming amount, but more than we'd like. But other than that, Lodolo has been absolutely phenomenal. Limiting hits, forcing weak contact, fanning batters as well. Here's the 0-2 to Harrison. Take it. All right, Josh Harrison, why don't you just swing? We're going back to that pitch. Double ball, double play ball, excuse me. India flips on a Newman. Harrison doesn't run too well, but does beat out the throw back to first. That's not who we wanted to see, because that could have been a great, great outing for Nick Lodolo, bringing somebody else to start the sixth inning. Instead, got to face Bryce Harper. He's going to put this one into play past the second baseman. Myers fields in right. Goes right to Spencer Steer at third base. But now you have runners on first and second. Big power at the plate in the form of 
Kyle Schwarber. We're going to get a quick mound visit going. Luke Weaver's about ready to go. Might get Buck Farmer up. But I'd like to get through another inning. N not beyond this, I should say, but just past Kyle Schwarber. Is that going too far? Got him 0-2. Just got to finish. Just got to finish. What's your go-to pitch here? Circle change. Got him swinging. Eighth K of the game for Lodolo. I think that's going to be all we see from him. What an outing. Can't say enough about the pitching, but especially how great this hitting has been. Absolutely crushing the ball. Votto actually gets a good piece of this one. Play is going to be made by Harper. But uh, his best contact of the game. Big rip from Will Myers. He has a three-hit day. Joining Tyler Stevenson. That one's only a single, though. Finally, they're able to keep him in the ballpark. He's had a fantastic game, obviously. This one was ripped. I just think that if you face a lefty with Will Myers' numbers, you expect him to have a pretty big day. Uh, maybe not two home runs, but he's been fantastic. It's just when we face a lefty, we have to be able to take advantage because we don't really do it against righties. As Fraley really does not hit lefties so well, just continues an awesome game. Let's go ahead and not... Oh, no throw. Accidentally sent him. <laughs> Braley going to get the RBI double. He's not complaining. Will Myers goes first to home. And he's not someone that runs particularly well. I thought they would have had him at the plate. Harper's got a decent arm, but no throw. And they finally will go to a righty. It's Andrew Bellotti. Has yet to allow a run. Now... He will not be credited if Jake Fraley comes around to score with an earned run. But we'll see what we can do against a righty for the first time. We really saw three different lefties. It kept not working, and they kept not caring. At this point, you know, you're down by so much. I, just, I guess I get it. But, uh, yeah, they've, they've not made the best decisions on top of that. But Jason Vosler, who joined the hit parade, as I continue to say, uh, finally gets to face a righty, even though he has pretty even numbers against both sides. Does have the advantage to seeing the pitch break this way, though. And that one broke right over the middle. And Jason Vosler has gone deep. Pretty much everyone has. Do I need to go to legend difficulty? <laughs> Maybe that will limit some of these, because this is borderline unbelievable. You do see teams go on amazing runs. This is a lot of home runs, though. Many, many home runs. Did not expect Jason Vosler to go yard in this game. Oh, that's a slider right down the middle. We're not going to miss that one. They've left a lot of pitches down the middle, though, this game. That's another one. Kevin Newman shoots that one in the left. Another base hit for him. Again, that's his game. He's not going to hit the ball too hard. He's not going to do too much. He's not ever going to hit a home run for us, probably. 84 miles per hour off the bat. But just gets out in front of it. Loops it into left field. Kind of all we need. A re in one to Fairchild. Got to be really careful to him. <laughs> Does have two hits in this game, though, but you can say that pretty much about the entire lineup to this point. Although that one, little flare at into center. Tough play for Harrison, maybe. He finds it. But Jason Vosler did the damage. Big home run. We have 18 hits to their three. 14 runs in the process. I mean, I guess the Rangers did this to the Phillies in real life. <laughs> but Luke Weaver's going to come into the game. Has only thrown one out. <laughs> Came in for one out. Guess they're not really using him too much. We'll see what he can do. Uh, he might go the entire rest of the game for us. Or maybe not. The comeback is on. Real Muto starts off with a single. And the first pitch of the game for Luke Weaver. Ball hit on the ground. India flips to Newman. Back on a first double play. And just like that, the base hit is erased. Luke Weaver has barely thrown, I think, five pitches. Four pitches and has two outs. Love to see that. Ooh, strike three on the changeup. Guthrie goes down. And our great pitching performance continues. And India draws a walk. As if they're not going to get that call down 14 nothing. Tough day to be them. Come on, Joey. He might be the only red without a hit today. Facing a righty. Ah. Out in front. Come on, Joey. He has reached base. There is that. 
Just has not got a hit. And that's strike three. Accidental check swing. And uh, Vado walks back to the dugout. It was early on it anyway, but don't know why that checked. Right down the middle again. They got to stop doing that. Another hit for Will Myers. Off a righty, might I add. Earning that contract. I mean, he he's already produced so much today. But here it steps up Jake Fraley. He is just a triple shy of the cycle. He's had a four-hit game. Not going to find it on that pitch. And there that note is. Triple shy of the cycle. Make a mistake. Nope. Nope. Let's calm down a bit, Jake. And that's strike three. Another accidental check swing. I think I might have been early on that one as well. Ball hit on the ground to Weaver. Another quick out. Two away already in the inning. Top of the order comes up with Trey Turner. And this is finally a hard hit. Down the left field line. Turner with exceptional speed. And have an easy stand-up double. I fear it might be too little too late. Also, hitting Josh Harris in second. Such a bizarre decision when you have JT Realmuto and Bryce Harper and Reese Hoskins and Kyle Schwarber. Why Josh Harrison? Why is he the guy? It's mind-numbing and mind-boggling. Although, he hits it right over the third base bag. Fraley will field. RBI single to break the shutout for Josh Harrison. Man, got every piece of that. 78 off the bat. And Harper with a rip. All right, Luke Weaver might not be able to take us to the end of this game. Will Meyer is going to get it in fairly quickly. Runner coming for the plate, though. Votto all the way out. You got to get to the outfield. Standing at first base to receive the cut. How does he come all the way around to score on that? 14-2 now. And strike three. Curveball to hit, honestly, for Kyle Schwarber. He just swung right through it. I'll mention it. Full count to Spencer Steer. <laughs> We're up 14-2. Not a lot of suspense to this point. He's going to draw a walk. Or should I say, not a lot of suspense at this point. To this point there, I mean, I guess maybe not either. We've pretty much just been all over them the entire game. Haven't had a suspenseful moment since the second inning. Ground ball to short. This could be a double play. No, just going to settle for one. You know, such a dangerous hitter here <laughs> with, with a Stuart Fairchild. You'd try to turn two at any chance you could. Who would want to face Stuart Fairchild? Has homered in this game. That's a ground ball right back up the middle. Diving Trey Turner cannot make the stop. We're going to send the runner home. Here's the play at the plate. Up the line. And that is another run. Stuart Fairchild coming up clutch. Look at the chin on Spencer Steer in game, by the way. That looks bizarre. Jonathan India, deep to left field. This one down the line and fair. It is off the foul pole and gone. India just wrapping that right down the line. If it was fair, it was going to be a homer. It had the distance and it just stays fair. Hits the foul pole and India. Yet another red to homer in this game. Stop. They're already dead. It is 17 to 2. India knew it right away. 21st hit of the ball game right off the 329 sign and they're going to go to Connor Brogdon. Why? What's the point at this point? It is 17 to 2. Stevenson flies out to end the 8th. Tough, but India, man. I talked some trash early. I said, "You know what? Is he actually Going to be the best hitter coming out of this game? He says, yeah, I, I actually am. Took him a bit to heat up when the game, you could say, has already been over for quite some time. But comes up with a big home run for his own stats. Ground ball, Kevin Newman. There's out number one of the eighth. And strike three. Hoskins goes down swinging. Luke Weaver's done a good job. Three strikeouts in the game for him. We've had a lot of strikeouts. I think the Phillies have struck out probably... I think Lodolo had eight in the three for Weaver. I don't think we've gotten to anybody else. 
So, they've really been fanning quite a lot. And now, Guthrie down 0-2. Could be looking at another. Strike three looking. Goodbye, Guthrie. He's had a rough game. Joey Votto. 0 for 4 with a walk. Can he find anything against Connor Brogdon? Ball hit sky high to center field. Outfielder not even moving. Votto 0 for 5. Jake Fraley's had a phenomenal game. Still a triple away from the cycle. It's the hardest part of it to get. But I think there are certain parts that are deep enough where he actually could feasibly do it here, unfortunately. A ground ball to second ends the ninth inning. Or our half of it, at least. We'll go on a pitch. It's going to be Luke Weaver. Let's go one, two, three. Let's get out of here. And strike three. Nobody wants to play. Garrett Stubbs sits down again. These are decent pitches. Obviously, that's a great one. Circle change down and in. But, I mean, you got two runs. Get up there to swing the bat. What are you doing at this point? They're ready to go home. All right, Sosa's not done. He's going to go ahead and poke that one in the right field. Billy's still fighting. And strike three. Trey Turner. Back to the bench. Ooh, Josh Harrison. Nasty swing. It's all down to him. He's had a hit in this game. He's been a little bit of a pest. This one. Pop fly out to Jake Fraley. He camps underneath it. And that is finally the ball game. 17-2. One of the biggest wins in franchise history. We win by 15. Getting home runs for basically the entire lineup here. 21 hits. Did have the Kevin Newman error. But a pretty dominant performance. Maybe the biggest win you're going to see in the entire series. Two home runs for Will Myers on a four-hit game. Two home runs for Tyler Stevenson. Fraley, four hits, including a home run. India also went yard. Check the box score here. Pretty unbelievable. Also home runs for Vosler and Fairchild. Fraley and Steer had doubles. It's tough to get a better performance than that. The entire lineup... The exception of Joey Votto had hits. Joey Votto, man. I mean, we had some good swings, just didn't find it. Yeah, tough to win by a whole lot more than 15. Awesome game for us. Again, it's really uh, tougher to get better than that. Luke Weaver actually pitched injured in that game. I, I completely forgot about that. Uh, but that is pretty incredible. We beat the Villies 5-4 the next day as well. India with a couple of walks. We had a home run for Newman, really. Kevin Newman with three RBIs. He had a three-run shot. Senzel doubled back in the lineup. We didn't see him or Friedel. I think we probably faced a right-hander, which our lineup gets a little bit different. Graham Ashcraft walked five, allowed four runs. Not great from him. It's actually pretty incredible we were able to get the win. Bullpen really locked it down. Only one hit the following three innings. Uh, Canell allowed one, but two strikeouts for Farmer, two for Canell, one for Alexis Diaz, who also recorded the save, even though he walked two. That's a gutsy win. That's what we'll call that. And Diaz has yet to allow a run the entire season. Six strikeouts in three and a third innings. I know it's a small sample size. Hunter Green has pitched very well. 1.64 ERA, although the whip is very high at 1.45. 16 Ks in those 11 innings, though. Uh, we're doing pretty well up to this point. Better than expected. Lodolo, obviously a great outing, has brought that ERA down. Uh, Joey Votto still struggles mightily. You can see his numbers against left-handers. Very bad. Will Myers, it really only produced in that one game for us. Graham Ashcraft's got to be better. Spencer Steer hasn't done a whole lot. Vosler with a torn groin. And we got one to two months. We'll put him on the 10-day IL for now. India and Stevenson both listed as on fire. Votto's starting to turn it around a little bit, by the way, up to 250. Spencer Steer has gone ice cold. And TJ Friedel as a DH is horrific. All right, because the 40-man got set to manual. Noel V. Marte got called up. I don't want that to happen. So, uh, I didn't realize... Trades auto? That's insane. Okay. Didn't realize those would be 
set to automatic automatically. That's insane. Noel V. Marte is back down to AAA, where he's not performed all that well, to be honest. Ellie De La Cruz off to a bit of a slow start as well. And Nick Solak, who's played very, very well for us, uh, is actually on the Mariners in real life. Now, he got traded to the Mariners for cash, which is a little bit weird. You can't really make that trade in the game, but I'll trade Nick Solak for nothing. We'll get Robbie Tenerowitz from the Mariners or big Jason Vosler replacement. Jake Fraley with a lat muscle strain. Going to be out for a few days. Going to keep him active. And we got to fix a double-A lineup. Why would Edwin Arroyo not be playing? My leadoff guy. Maybe he was injured briefly. And Yvonne Johnson's played great. And he's getting downgraded for some reason. He got deep potential, I guess. Alex Vigne is a prospect who doesn't look so bad. Got some good power. Uh, of course, because he is an 18-year-old, there's a lot of variation there. Like, you can see, like, the future, it could be 70, could be 90, could be 80, could be 98 for contact right and left. So, a lot of variation. Seem to be pretty good overall, though, and these numbers could change and will change when we draft him, if we do. But, um, I think we'll, we'll leave him in there for another week. Apparently, interest is really big, and when you scout them for longer, they have more interest in signing. So... We're going to scout him all the way and keep everything where it is. I do want to get Jake Fraley back in the lineup, though. He is on fire. He's absolutely going to play over Stuart Fairchild and even TJ Friedel. And the next time I see you guys, we're going to take the mound with Luis Sessa. who has got a 3.63 ERA. Not too bad for his 1-2 and two record. And to take on Vince Velasquez, who has struggled for Pittsburgh. It's an in-division matchup for the first time this season that we're going to show. Um... Obviously, the Cubs are in our division as well. And we have played Pittsburgh to start. Uh, but this is the first time uh, we're going to be going on the road. Is kind of the point I'm trying to make. So that'll be the next episode. And we'll probably end up going into May as well. So stay on the lookout for that big win in this game. We are 10-9, middle of a competitive NL Central to start. Although that order is not all that shocking. Cardinals, Brewers at the top. Reds, Cubs, Pirates, very close. Wouldn't entirely shock me. And I do want to turn critical situations on. Aim my head that off. But maybe next episode is a big critical situations episode. Who knows? But thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.